Good morning, good morning everyone. Good morning. I say good morning because it is morning here where I am. Uh, I don't know what time of day it is where you are, but uh, I wish you uh, an awesome day. I'm Clarice Myers coming to you live. I'm still here in the Maryland area and uh, through the weekend. <laughs> so, good morning Minister Rosa J. Glad that you can join me this morning. Uh, every morning, Monday through Friday at 8 o'clock, I come and just share some little nuggets with you that can help you, not just in your personal life, but also in your business. And um, this week, I've been focusing on those 10 rules for success. And what got me interested in this was uh, learning about uh, the philanthropist, billionaire, Robert F. Smith. And uh, so I wanted to find out, just delve a little deeper into what are those 10 rules for success. And each day I focus on one. So um, I appreciate you joining me this morning. Uh, if, if I say anything that resonates with you, do share it out because if grant, chances are, if you found value, someone else will as well. And so today I'm just gonna talk about rule number five, which is simply, I, I added, give yourself permission to dream big and i say give yourself permission because you know children when we're, when we're children i'm sure you might remember your teacher asking you what do you want to be when you grow up and and as children we have all these big dreams and and uh, you know we, we we share it freely and but then some way some way along life's journey those dreams for many of us they fade away and then we maybe end up settling for this or settling for that and that's what I'm speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs who are not willing to settle they want to live their best life <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing on my journey discovering greatness in all of its forms and where implementing those jewels those gems that can help me live my best life and I share what I learned with my listening audience people who are on that or the same mindset anyway getting back so children you know they're just free spirits they they speak their minds and they know what they want to do or be when they grow up but somehow when we become adults it's like maybe I don't I don't want to say reality hits but we lose focus on our dreams and I said, give yourself permission to dream big. Give yourself permission because sometimes when you, when you, when you become an adult and you vocalize your dream or your goal, you may be met with some negativity. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, and before you know it, you know all those comments that are being thrown at you uh, cause you to start, start doubting that you can actually achieve those goals. So, give yourself permission to dream big. Um, Let's see, I wanted to make a few other points here. Um, we all have different gifts, talents, interests. So in one sense, we are all different, yet we are still all the same. Because I know everyone wants to live uh, in peace and harmony and, and uh, prosperity and uh, free and free to, to, to be and to do the things that you want to do in life. You know, we all want those things, but even though we're different, uh, we still want the same things. And experts say that the experts who have achieved success, m many, if you look through, many of them say that one of those rules, just like um, Dr. Smith said, is to dream, you know. And how do you dream? How do you get a bigger expansion? How do you explode your mind? How do you get all that knowledge into, into your mind? And it comes, if you can't be around people who have great minds, personally, physically, then find a way to do it. So study others who have done something, something that you admire in them. You know, um, this, I was looking at a uh, a YouTube. Yes, you can read. I'm going to say that. Read, uh, listen to podcasts, you know, look at YouTube. YouTube is an excellent source, you know. 
And there was this lady, um, I'll just tell you her a little little bit of her story. I shared it into my group. <laughs> uh, this lady, she, a young lady, a young mother, she, her, her family, they were having some financial struggles, as many of us do. And rather than uh, trying to go out and buy new material and, uh, you know, stuff, she, she learned how to sew. She, you know, started teaching herself and she learned how to sew. And rather than going out buying all this material or trying to buy clothes for her, her, her daughter and her baby that was on the way, she decided, you know what? She looked in her closet or in a, a bag that she had uh, gathered stuff to dis, you know, dispose or take to Goodwills. And she looked in there and she saw a shirt that she and that her husband had worn when he proposed to her. And she said, oh, I can use this shirt and make an outfit for the baby. And so she started doing that, going recycling her, 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 the, the shirts and the clothing that she had or in bags that were ready to be discarded or donated to Goodwills and ended up making some beautiful outfits that her husband even recognized, you know. So here, here is an, another example. I mean, maybe she didn't start out like, oh, I'm going to make this a, a business or company, but she started with something that she enjoyed doing. What do you enjoy doing? You know, chances are things that you enjoy, it can lead to something else, you know. And so we have to delve into ourselves. What are, what are those things that are important to you? Um, so being able to dream big, we can't be afraid to speak our dreams because speaking it is keeping it alive and helping you to move forward to achieve it. If we let comments from other people discourage us and, and um, cause us to start doubting ourselves, all of that potential that's built up inside of you that you could have uh, access or tapped into, you'll never get there because you, you, you stopped too soon. Do those things that you enjoy. Explore, read, because those are, that, those are like the little success um, steps, the steps to lead you to where your, your goal, your ultimate goal will be. You know, I was also looking, uh, and I, I saw, um, and I shared this on my, my page, not in the group, but there was a, a church. I didn't even know the name of the church. I didn't even read the full article, but I thought this was just awesome. You know, there are churches all over the cities and every state, wh wherever. One church opened up their doors to the homeless. The homeless people were sleeping on the pews inside the church. You know, I know there's some who are going to say, oh, that's disrespecting God's house. That's disrespecting the sanctuary. And, but I, if, I would, if we were to ask God, God, does this offend you? Here we're opening the doors to homeless where they can sleep at night. They're sleeping on the pews. I mean, I'm sure this might be like, this might be sacrilegious to some people, but I thought that was awesome. So many churches are closed up, you know, especially in the winter months, you know, when it's cold outside and people need shelter. <laughs> anyway, these are just thoughts going through my mind, but I thought I'd mention it. So dreams, nothing is wrong with dreaming big. Nothing is wrong with speaking your dreams, speaking your goals, uh, because in so doing, it propels us, it pushes us, keeps it alive, and, and we can work to accomplish and we can achieve the goals that we set out to do. <clears throat> Good morning, Seps. Good morning. See, I'm just get, I get lost in my thoughts and forget to say hello to those of you who are coming on. Good morning, Sipo. Good morning. I can wave to you. Thank you for the hearts and loves. Purposeful re repurposing. Yes, purposeful repurposing. I shared that in, in my group, um, Spiritual Entrepreneurs goal achievers. So as I find interesting things that can that can make us think about greatness and achieving our goals, I share that within in, in my group. And if you'd like to be a member of that group, you know, you're more than welcome. I do have a, a, a link into the description where you can uh, join us where or join me and the group. And I also I'm doing a Facebook Live Challenge. I started tomorrow evening, 
um, I say evening because it'll be my Sabbath. June 1st is tomorrow. So if you would like to be a, a part of that challenge, a five-day challenge going live within the group, and I make sure I say that because some people are really, really terrified about doing a live. They say, I can never do that. You'll be surprised what you can do when you put your mind, when you focus on those things that are important to you. So that's what I have for you today. Um, every morning, Monday through Friday, I come and share something with my listening audience. If anything I share it with you resonates, if it pricks your consciousness, if you think someone else can benefit this, benefit from listening to this, do share it out. And I thank you for listening. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the loves. Tell me where you're tuning in from. You know, I, a lot of people are a little bit shy about saying where they're from. You know, nothing's wrong with it. I'm sure nothing is going to happen to you. You're not going to, everybody's going to bite you. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I just want to say thank you for listening. Those of you catching the replay, put hashtag replay, and I will see you on Monday. So be blessed. Enjoy your day. Bye now.